Welcome to Physician Academy. Today, we're going to talk about introduction to, cons to constrictive pericarditis. Chronic inflammation and calcification of the pericardial tissue can cause constrictive pericarditis. And one of the most common causes is tuberculosis, viral infection, radiation as part of a cancer treatment, or surgery. Over time, the pericardium becomes thickened and constricts the normal movement of the heart which can lead to or cause uh, the reduction of function, impaired ventricular relaxation leading to impaired right ventricular filling leading to signs of right heart failure. How do these present or common presentation features? They present as fatigue, short of breath, uh, dyspnea, signs of right hearted, uh, heart, signs of right sided heart failure, such as jugular venous distension, ascites, and peripheral edema. The physical exam and evaluation of a patient with constrictive pericarditis. So one of the uh, findings is the Kuzmal's sign, which is increased jugular venous distension with inspiration due to impaired right ventricular feeling, filling. Jugular venous pulse abnormality as a rapid X and Y descents. We'll try to provide a diagram in the future. At the moment, I don't have one. Tamponade may cause pulses paradoxes. EKG will show low voltage in all leads. Chest x-ray will show pericardial calcification, um, or it may not show anything. It may also show evidence of a on, more evidence on a lateral view. The echo may be normal, or show thickened pericardium, greater than five millimeters of thickness is consistent with constrictive pericarditis. So what's the treatment for constrictive pericarditis? Only one, it's surgical pericardectomy at this time. We'll try to provide more information in diagrams or even uh, short videos if we can get an echo from a person to demonstrate what this all looks like.